Thor in Norway. What a great name for a Norwegian. Thor. I love it. <laughs> he writes, my current setup now mainly consists of audio GD preamp, uh, a MK2 DAC, a 100 watt Class A monoblock, and Usher Dazer speaker. Okay. Oh, Usher speakers. Okay. I use separate isolation transformers on the monoblocks and the streaming equipment and Furatech power distributors with filters on the pre DAC and master clock. Are ISO transformers good for this use? If I connect a power distributor with a filter before or after an ISO transformer, will this filter then do anything? Or is it best not to use any filters? Well, I've never been a fan of filters, of certainly not ISO transformers. I mean, we made a product called the Quintessence that was kind of, had, it was just a big isolation transformer. It was good for its time, but that was many, many years ago, and we have learned so much in the meantime. And you know I'm a fan of, of course, regenerators. I think that's the way to go. Voltage regulation, low impedance, all that's good stuff. But I, I, this isn't a pitch for, for a power plant. I just want to answer the question. So basically, an isolation transformer, especially if you have a big one, and if you're going to use ISO transformers, make sure they are oversized because, again, you don't want to starve anything for impedance. That's just, you don't want to go there. You don't want to starve. So I, I would use overkill as, as my rule of thumb with that. Um, I don't see the advantage. Over the years, what we have learned is noise on the power line really isn't all that important to eventual sound quality. Now, here's the problem with that when I say things like that. Anybody that has taken the time and, and has a revealing system and taken one of these power conditioners and put it in, or an ISO transformer, you will hear an immediate difference. No question about it. If you don't, either your system is not revealing enough or you're never really listened. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. It absolutely makes a difference. And every time I have heard it, it's like, whoa, okay, that is cleaner. And then over time, for me, I realize it's lost its life. Cleaner, yes, lost its life. So the penalty of, of adding this extra impedance, this filtering, whether it's through an ISO transformer or a power conditioner, it isn't worth the questionable benefits of clean power to, to get that scrubbing uh, that just removes the life, the upper harmonics, gone. Listen to a, a guitar piece where, where somebody is really well recorded it and they, they're strumming the guitar and the strings ring. Try that. Uh, try listening to that with and without that passive power conditioner, that ISO transformer, and you'll notice when those are in, you're going to lose a lot of that upper harmonics. They're just gone. And I, that's not good enough for me. I, I couldn't deal with that. I finally gave up on all that stuff. So, yeah, if it were me, I would rethink what you're doing. Truly. Okay. Thanks for the question. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.